What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about solar. And we are going to install the solar panel on the roof of the van. It is a 100 watt top solar semi-flexible something something panel. And I have an extension cord I'll show you at the end of the video and an adapter so it fits into the rock pile. Stay tuned. We're getting set up for the solo. Oh, what's going on? It's going down on me. Basically right here, I'm just saying I'm not sure if I want to keep the panel right here or if I should move it over in case I want to put something on the other side. But after I got done contemplating, I decided we're just going to leave it in the middle. And I was asking you guys what you think. Yeah. You know how I am. Off. I'm gonna cut the video off and then I'll come back after I do some more. All right. All right, so we gotta hook these cords up and check out the power station. Make sure it's all good, even though I checked it already. Because these are gonna end up needing pulled inside. So let's do that. We'll pull it inside and we'll go from there. Can't even see my screen. All right, so this tripod's playing games with me already. All right, so we got this cord in, this cord. All right, let's bring these in. Why? Shoot, I'm gonna have to tape them across and then pull them in. Bam, bam, bam. All right, let's just. Let's just hook them up first. Okay, MC4 cords. Um, you hook this one. Wait, wrong side. Wrong side. You hook this here. This goes here. Okay. 
So they're going to be in here. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I'll tell you that right about now. Hmm. Let's see if we can shut this without breaking them. Nope, 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 nope. We're going to put them right over here. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, you know what? They're thinner. I bet you I could bring them in up here. I'll be back because I'm hot. Let's try this again without you falling down. So it's really hot up. I mean, it's not hot. It's actually beautiful. Beautiful wind going. I got a long extension cord, so yeah. That's why we're a little lost here. Where's the other one? Where'd you go? What the hell? Oh, duh. Dingus. Don't you fall again. You guys stay right where you're at. <laughs> Alright. This goes here. This goes here. Just as if you're extending to a second panel. All right, now we're gonna plug this in to the battery station and see how many watts we get. Let's check it out. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm at 100%, so it's not showing anything right now. I don't know if you could see that with the glare. There we go. But yeah, we're charged. Um, I'm gonna use it while I get a quick shower before I go back to work. I'm going to use the power station so it uses some power and then we're going to plug it in. We're going to try it out. But yeah, just brought them in through here because these are the ones from the actual panel are skinnier. So yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Um, yeah, this might be a problem though when it rains. I got to figure out something. Maybe, I don't know. I'll figure out something, but yeah, for now I'm satisfied and we will make do. There's my Reflectix, got to get them done. Hot Mess Express in here. That box from this, I'm going to put here eventually, so yeah. All right, well, we're full power, so I'm going to go in and plug something into it to use some power while I get a quick shower, and I will be back later tonight. And I keep looking at the wrong side, sorry. Guys, time to go back to work. Let's see. I brought it down to like 96 or 97 percent. I used my big box fan, which draws like 35 watts. <laughs> Crank that baby up. All right, let's check it out. Let's see. I can't see it, but maybe you can. It's pulling in 47 watts. Better than no watts. Nice, nice. I love it. Love it, love it. All right, well, we're going to let this sit in the front while I'm at work so it doesn't get all hot. All right, guys. I know I'm a hot mess in this video, but anyways. Ugh. Off I go. It looks good. See you later. Hey, guys. So I just got home from work, and the sun's starting to set. Now, obviously, we're not in direct sunlight, and I understand that. But I still want to plug this baby in just to see if anything's seeping through. Let's check. Let's see if anything comes through. Not a dang thing. I thought it would at least trickle in a little something. Hmm. Um, yeah, obviously I'm under a tree too, but I thought some kind of light. Now, I will say on the panel, there was, um, let me turn it off here. There was a, um, spot where there was like these silver tabs that like connected the black square. It's like the cells of the solar. I don't know if I was supposed to cover that up or not, but I didn't cover up the actual solar part. I'm a little new to all this, so yeah. But anyway, we'll try it again tomorrow. But I think that's all that's going to be for this video, okay? 
there's the lights when they're off. They still go up here too, it's hard to see that. And I have an extra clip here, I just sat there. I thought maybe if I ever need to put like a little something something back here, I could do that, okay? All right, well that's it for today's video. I just wanted to show you guys what we did. I'm gonna eat my wings that I started eating. And let's take one more look up here at the panel. That is a 100 watt top solar semi-flexible panel. And that you can see uh, me unboxing in the video way back when I had the Dodge Grand Caravan. So I will see you guys on the next one. The next video we will be talking about Reflectix. But let me just show you one more thing real quick. Look how much cordage I have here. Yeah. So I'm going to have plenty of room for a refrigerator up there. It's a hot mess in there, and we are going to do that. So, all right, folks. Well, like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you in the next one. See ya.